There you go. Finally. Oh my goodness, man. Computer or something else. I wonder if this is working for me. I'm not sure. Is that, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Still think I need it. I don't know why, but I feel like I need one or another one overhead. It's not enough. I'll huh? do more. It's too much, babe. Uh, I like it bright, man. There you go. What's up, you guys? Good morning. Yeah, I might change the angle and actually raise it up and come down. You can try. Oh, okay. And this actually stands up like this. You can stretch that like, like this. Tippy toes? Yeah, all the way up this, all the way up. Oh, this. Okay. okay, you got it. You got it. We're going to do summer shade down. We're going to do summer shade down. My cocoa. Mm, I just love cocoa. You're going to stand up for me? Are you going to stand up? Yeah, maybe for five seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I just love you. Thank you, Callie. Thanks for your donation. Thanks for supporting the live stream. Hi. Hi. You're going to stand up? You never stand up. You never stand up. I'm going to take advantage of it, huh? Yeah, I'm going to take advantage of it. This is dumb. Is David struggling over there? I guess I... Gosh, David. Why did this come out like this, man? You shouldn't have pulled it out. Put it back. It was sliding back in. I guess I'll just hold it. What the... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, look at that smile. Let go. That's scary. Oh, I get enough. I get enough. But what I mean is this, then is this. Yeah, okay, okay. That goes loose in this. All right, you loose got it. I this. got it. Okay, all right. It's not that big of a deal. You're not supposed to lift it like that. That's what it is. Okay, like, what is he doing, man? Woohoo! Thanks for supporting the live stream, you guys. Awesome! I'm sweating in here. You guys ready to get to work? We got to get this live stream going, don't we? Okay. Mom's, uh, Coco's mom's probably like, Didi, what took so long today? Okay, so we're going to do a summer shave down on Miss Coco. Coco? Why are you supposed to move it if you can't even lift it without it coming up? So weird. I don't know. That's why I had just, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Yeah, girl, you ready to get groomed? Okay, let's get started. Of course, we're gonna do our shortest, safest blade, which is a 10 speed. And you know I'm using my Andis 5, or 10 speed, 10 blade. I'm using my Andis 5 speed. You can get everything on our website, myfavoritegroomer.com. Every day we have specials and they're not announced, so you gotta check every day for your favorite tool. You can put it through her arm or you can put it around her neck, whatever you feel comfortable with. She's not going to go anywhere, but you never know. I like to always start at the base of the neck here. Let's create that base of the neck situation but since i got the groom loop off of her neck right now i'll just go ahead and come around summer shade down baby yeah mom came in and i looked at coco and i said she doesn't look like she needs a lot of hair cut But they like a short, short cut. So here we go. They're here, what, every three months, I think? Every two months? 
have to look at their file. Repeat client. Your best clients are going to be your repeat clients. Make sure you offer a referral deal so that you can gain business from them talking about your business and your services. So here, um, this is a good Buffy thing. So there's a big mole right there. And because I'm going so soft, I'm not going to cut it. If I'm digging real hard, I would have probably nicked it already. Because Buffy asked it yesterday about skin tags. She's got another one here. So, so now that I'm reminded, you know, make sure I'm really kind of gliding the clipper effortless, effortlessly, not digging hard, okay? You see, I'm not trying to create a bunch of lines, or I'm going to have to fix them later. I want to try to do minimal fixing. So come and do your lines right to do the lines right the first time, and you won't be back here doing this all completely all over again. Right there, obviously. Bring that, tighten it up with skin here. Pull it back a little bit so you can see what you're working with. Every dog's area right there is different. Come in. Always have that armpit really uh, stretched out good when you come into that area. Yeah, girl. Check your blade, go ahead and change it out. It's a bit warm. So number two, template. Let's go back into it. She's sitting, I'll come back, Ma. We'll just get our mini out. All right, so you're sitting. I'm gonna have you stand up so I can finish this side of you, okay? And if you've got two, it doesn't hurt to do two. And then I'll show you later the Dog up stand fits her really well too, but uh, the our foam product here is just a, probably a faster, slightly more in, a slightly inexpensive compared to the dog up stand. But I use all of the above. She's been our original dog up stand model. Not original, I should say the Schnauzers were Coco. I think I'm Schnauzer. Let me think of the Schnauzer I'm talking about. Yeah, let me think. Cookie. Cookie was our original. Cookie's the reason why I'm into the dog up there, man. She, <clears throat> she would take two hours to groom if I didn't have some kind of support system for her. Oh, and I was so excited. Lift that leg up like she's laying down flat. All right. You can stop here, save time, and do the, you can just switch out to your 40 if you want and just do the pads here and then go do the other side of her body completely, like head to, head to toe on the other side, right? So I've got my 40 blade, which we're going to use just on the pads here. How are you guys? Oh, Callie, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm, I've got my 40. I might as well just do the pads on this side now. And then move into my 10 blade. See how that works? Let me show you guys here that 
you know, if you see the picture, her original was the dog up stand until we made the dog up mini. So on her size, kind of how you have some options on a Shih Tzu like this. Every Shih Tzu is made differently, so you need to measure, you know, from the table up. All right. So once she sits down again, we'll show you how we can implement this tool. Okay. Let's switch over to my 10 blade for a minute. I'm using a third 10 blade. Come over now and do this side. Callie, you're too much, girl. Thank you so much. I appreciate your donation. Callie's the number one super fan. And she goes through chemo twice a week. She reminded me yesterday, I think it's, what'd you say, Monday and Saturdays you do chemo? I want to say, was it Michelle P? That, um, donated for that uh, pineapple the other day? We sent... Callie, the pineapple. Callie, did you get the pineapple? Michelle P. said, send it. What's that, David? Of course I told her. I sent her the text message so she would know who sent it to her. It's a gift, but it's a surprise. But I want her to know it's headed that way in case uh, shipping, someone lost it in the mail. She would have never known someone was so sweet to do that. So Michelle P. Was it Michelle P.? Michelle P. Uh, donated, I think, what is it, $50 for the pineapple? And then she said, Dee Dee, send this to Callie because I know what chemo is like. And so I did. She's a super fan, but I really look up to Callie. So here we are. Um, we've got, now we're going to use the small dog up sand. So lower it. And she's perfect on the small dog up sand. And I used to not use the straps as much as I use them now. But she tries to wiggle a little bit off. It's not going to keep her on there, but it'll keep her like, oh, oh I'm going to just stay on here. Oh, there's something there, right? She got it already? Yeah. The pineapple is beautiful, man. So you can see now, wow, man, this is uh, really going to help her stay stood up while I move around her whole body and groom. Now, at this rate, it's going to take me all these pictures and photography and all this. It's going to take me, you know, two hours to groom a dog. That if I'm going to start doing marketing, <laughs> a lot of marketing, all these cameras and stuff. I got a person out there, just another person? Really? I hope you don't feel that way about yourself, man. You are not just another person. I see her anal gland area looks really swollen and I am telling myself in my head that she needs them done and I'd really like to ask mom permission first. So as soon as I get a second, keep checking your blade. All right, we're going back to blade number two, which I used for just a few minutes before I turned it into a 40. Her looking down makes it a struggle. So if you can't handle her looking down, get the groom loop tight. She's obviously got a very loose groom loop right now. Okay. Of course, you know, I'm gonna not hand scissor. I'm gonna use the four guard. 
And I'm going to go ahead and take this off because I don't need her standing right now. Okay. Yep, and she's going to sit down right away for me. You can see without the stand, she's going to sit right down. And she's a great dog to groom, but she just loves to sit down, okay? All right, let's get this floor guard out. You know, I try to keep my area pretty clean as I go. That's just me. Not everyone's doing that. If you go watch a groomer, not everyone does that. I had one groomer, she worked for me, and she would never sweep. I would have to stop what I'm doing and go sweep for her. Pure laziness. And I just remember in my head, like, this is gross. I could not even look at it. It was like four dogs deep. And she was walking around the hair. And I, I just, uh, no. If you guys can't tell, we actually are trying out new lighting. I don't know if it's my favorite yet. But we'll see how it works out. I got to try it out first. Too blue. Too blue? Yeah, right? We got to try some stuff out first before we say recommend something. So give us some time. We'll let you know when we work out some kinks. You can go down and up here because we're going pretty short on our teddy bear head. Okay? Down and up. Like back and forth is what I mean. That might look a little better. What is it? I changed the camera settings. Is that light on? I can't even tell, man. I feel like I need. I feel like I need to go brighter and brighter and brighter and more work, man. Okay, we're looking good here. So they can see. I want to be able to see, right? Look at your pretty face. All right, we're gonna go to the face. So go ahead and get a nice, cool. 10 blade, which from right now would be my fourth 10 blade. That's how many blades I've gone through so far. She's got this nice cherry eye, so I like to get all this cleaned out real good. If you can't get it now, as long as it's not really explosively matted, go ahead and make sure you work that out. Okay. Work that out in the tub and then come back and do your shaving later. So let's get in here. See all these eye crusties? Y'all know her. She's been coming a while now. So some of these crusties I'm going to work out in the tub. It might not be your thing to do this, but it is my thing. So every groomer is like an artist. We pick and choose how we want to do a dog. And as long as the owner is happy, then it's never perfect. It doesn't have to be your way or the, you know, it doesn't have to be that. It's, it's that groom between that groomer and that owner and that dog like that. Come here, look at me here. Hi. Big chunks of uh, gunk in there right there. I get all that hair out of her mouth. Yeah. You got to hold on to something. Hold on to that chin here. All right, we're going to clean the inside of her ears now. In the summer, especially, come out here and do this. You want to go out, okay? Flat out from the ear. Not like this. You're going to flatten that blade to the ear, but don't touch it and just go out that way. Watch that little sliver right there. Don't cut it. Real, really just skim, skim, skim. And you were doing a 10 anyway, so just clean all that up there. Same thing. Look, there you go. This will really leave the ears cool during the summer or all year round. Shave what you can here, but it, what's inside the ear, you're going to pluck out anyway. Oh, I could get her. Can I get her to look right at you? I guess it's real hard, isn't it? Real hard to look right at the camera because I got to be right in her face myself. Just what's in the ear canal? None of that other stuff. You can shave that other stuff out, but what's in the ear canal it needs to be opened up. You guys see that? You guys see barely. Good morning, Jean. Jenny. I remember you. How's it going? Thanks for the donation. 
Yours look good, but they do need to be slightly clean. Oh, look at that. Look at that. David, make sure whatever they're sending, we're, we're, it's USPS in case we're not here. What? I was going to say call them back and make sure whatever they're sending, that they send a USPS or we're going to miss it. No, it's somebody that wants to stop. Oh, okay. Make sure we're open. Okay, look at all that. It's not a lot. She comes in often, but there's that weird chunk of something, something. Okay. We're here already. Might as well do your ears. Okay, I feel you. I'll wash that in a second. Look at that beautiful smile you have. I just love it. I just love your smile. Yes. I just love your smile, girl. Who is that, babe? I think I, I need to call a company. Is that them? Yeah, it must be because you're going to come push mute. I'm glad that they Melissa P with the twenty. Melissa P. Do you know Waterman with the one ninety nine? You serious? Thank you so much, you guys. Just wait when we come over here on this side. I'm gonna show you. If you want to text, oh yeah, you go. I need to text the mom here. To say Dee Dee notices she really ought to have anal glands done, but since she's always let me use her as a uh, photo shoot dog, I'm going to do the anal glands free, but I wanted to ask permission first. I really think it needs to be done, and we're going to see together, okay? Y'all going to see what happened here. I don't think I have, not her. Never. we never done your anal glands, have we? Some a little bit of unevenness, and this is the rough end. So go ahead and come back here. I see it real thick on the left side of her face here. Come here. Like I said, you can come back in forth. We'll just tidy everything up later. It's whatever you want to do, man. I really like her face cleaned up because she's got all this other stuff going on, you know. Thank me, please. Look up for me. Just skim, skim, skim there. All right, look at all this hair, girl. Did I forget to do that 40 blade pad? <laughs> Let's take a look here. Did I forget to do that one? Hmm. Well, this is bright light on me, man. <laughs> you rally, 499. Hey, rally, thank you. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Not bad. 47 likes. I 
such a good dog. You're such a good dog. All right, I've got this new tool I'm using. I'm going to take these and wash them. With, wash them. Okay. I got this new tool I'm going to demo out. And let me get this going here because I'm doing a separate video too. So I got this new tool. It is the Andis Pro Grade Cordless Nail Grinder. We are going to carry them. I'm going to tell you it's so similar to the Dremel that this is what I want because it's very affordable. They're not on the website yet, but keep a lookout. We'll have them on there pretty soon under the nail area, toenail trim. It uh, It is so similar to a Dremel, except for it's not the price of a Dremel. I love the Dremels, okay? You can do all kinds of stuff. You can do woodworking and all this stuff. So... Okay, I like that. And then here, just like a Dremel or just like some of these other tools. And this one actually comes with the tip that I love. I love this tip and we resell tips only. So if you have a tool like this already, get this tip for your nails. I usually don't do her Dremeling. We don't need to. I'm going to trim her nails back to the vein and then I'm going to Dremel. If you don't know how to do nails, I recommend you have the nails done professionally and then you Dremel them every Friday. Okay, that's what I recommend if you don't know how to do nails. Have them done professionally about every three months, but you will need to do the Dremeling every Friday, every week. Okay, um, here you're gonna push this button in. I've already done it. You can loosen it up here or with your finger. Slide that baby in and out and then push this in with your finger. Make sure that's held down and tighten it. This button here allows you to work with this mechanism. It locks it so that you can actually tighten it and untighten it, okay? So that all comes with it. It has a, a charging. My Andis distributor charged it for me, so he knew I could start using it right away, which is really, really cool. So I'm not going to go down. I'm not going to actually, um, I'm not going to just start grinding her nails down. And when you're grinding a nail, you're not going to hold down. You're not going to hold down on it, okay? You're going to just go bump, 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 bump. You're going to let go up and down. And like, you see what I'm doing here myself? Do it on yourself so you know how it feels. If you stay on there too long, let me just straighten out my own nail here. Yeah. If you stay on an item too long, just, just imagine this is your tooth. You ever have someone like clean your tooth and they just stay there? It gets hot. Everything gets hot. Yeah, there's, there's warmth there. Not a lot, just tiny bit. Okay. So we're going to do our toenails and then come back with this. I can't, can't wait to use it. Because see, I have a Dremel. And this sucker's freaking expensive. And this is the only thing I use it for, okay? This is a Dremel 7700. Now I can take this home and put it back in my tool chest and use it at home on projects I do at home. But you see my favorite tip here. For those of you who didn't and don't want to afford a Dremel, the Dremels are like from 90 bucks and up. I mean, they're really expensive. I think that one cost me 130. So this a new Andis product is going to be great for you, okay? It's going to be super affordable. I want to say it's around 30. I, I want to say that's what it is. I have to check. What is it? 20. And she said it was under 20 bucks. No. Under 30 bucks. No. Yes, it is. It's under 30 bucks. I know what my distributor is doing. Okay. So let's get doing the nail trim real fast here. Oh, anyways, it's affordable. It's not a hundred dollars. That's my point. Okay. If you're gonna, if you're gonna think, think about, think about stuff. I'm gonna tighten this up. Be safe, not sorry. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna get the dog up stand because you love to sit. Come on, you gotta stand up. Up. This actually will give her a little tummy support as I start pulling her feet back. Okay, so we're coming here. Now, mind you, I have never dremeled her nails before, okay? So this is how it would go, especially if you're just going to start dremeling. It may not be perfect for you. The situation might not be perfect for you, but start somewhere. You have to introduce the tools. And if your dog really hates it, forget it. Yeah, just, just don't cause more trauma than you need to. So I'm going to do the nails first, and that way I can now go back and trim the, the hair. Did you ask Mom about anal glands? Yeah, I did. Okay, good.
in the back of that box right there. All right, so she's never, I never dremeled her nails before. Okay, here we go. Let's check this out. Turn it on. Can you guys see? No. Okay, hold on a second. Look at this, how it makes her a statue. The best part about this is that she's resting her body here, okay? She doesn't need to be up here, none of that, okay? She needs to just know there's something there, for her hand, a hand or something, okay? I do want to throw something in there right now. If you guys... It's on the website? She, okay, you're putting it under... He's putting that nail grinder on... It's, they're not in yet. They'll, they'll ship as soon as we get them, okay? So a lot of groomers do this, okay? I really want you to listen up. A lot of groomers and pet owners and all this, we, we do this, right? Okay? Look at what happened. I, this is not even locked in yet. Look up here. This is not even locked in yet, okay? Now, if I try to get this, this cord, which is the groom loop, which is the same here, but this is this is different. She can move her head around. She has no choice back here. If I put her body there and then I loop her up, look what happens here. I don't want to do it because I don't know how her organs are. I don't know if um, she's healthy. Can you guys see the inside of the dog while you're grooming it? No. So watch what happens here. Look at this. Look what happens here. And if I'm going to groom her with this loop around her body, maybe let's just say I come up here. Look at this. Look at under there how tight that is, like a rubber band. And I'm not even clicking it. I'm just showing you the pressure, what it does. And look, she's a little heavy for a Shih Tzu. So if I held her up there for, let's just say, 20 minutes, and let's just say a regular groomer might take two hours to do her off and on, right? In the tub, back out, two hours, maybe three, but two hours. Let's just say average. What could happen in here? What could happen, you guys? Let's really look at this. Look, look, look. Okay, I would not want you strapping this around my body and hanging me in the air, okay? Or hanging my organs up in the air to make me stand up. That's why I have this. This is placed underneath the dog. I gotta get it under there. And she is just assisting. If it gets painful, I don't think that this is, this is not the same thing. Okay. This is not the same thing. If it were to get painful, what's she going to do? She's going to step off and we've seen her do that before. Okay. And then if I need her to get back on, I, this is not a bungee cord around her tummy. I need you guys to be aware of the pressure you put on an organ or a cancer cell or an ulcer that you don't see inside there. I did a video. It's called my dog died. The dog died on the groomer's table. And that's what happened. The lady had this something like this. I don't know if it's this or just a regular lead around the tummy, holding the dog up. And it was a big dog and the big dog obviously weighs more. So the pressure of the dog pushing down on that band exploded, what, which was found out to be cancer. And that cancer blew up and that dog died a few hours after the grooming. Now I don't use that. Okay, because I can see that the pressure it puts on the organs. Okay. Somebody asked if you could put the dribble side by side. Side by side. With the one, the last one. Yeah, this one? That one. Oh, like this? Yeah, to see the size, I guess. Oh. It looks thinner. And this is, I don't know what the deal is here. This is good to stand up. Is that well, why? I like to grip it too. No, I don't use that at all. I, I'm up here. Yeah, it's to stand up then. I'm up here doing that. It's like what they do with lotion bottles. David just comes up just with some weird. David just comes up with some weird stuff, man. Coco is such a champ. You're such a champ. Okay, so it's not that much, but it's very much like a pencil. I love it. Love it. It's very um, comparable. Okay. There's no detachable um, battery. You just plug it into charge here. I think the Dremel feels just a tiny, tiny bit heavier. It's a micro USB like your cell phone charger yeah, for Samsung. Samsung micro USB charger. That's pretty cool. Do that. Okay, y'all got to see, right? I got to manipulate this. I know people are like, I can't believe you're moving a table around. 
can't believe you remember that table around with that dog on you. You're a boss. Such a good dog. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to get you to stand up here. Coco. All right, Coco. Cool. See if I can get at least, at least give you guys a little visual. Here, I'll focus in and stuff for them. You want to really hold that digit really good. Tap, tap, tap. I love how the, the reason I like these tips is I can get under the nail all the way around in the front end. Okay. So make, watch that knee. You're messing around, turn it off. I need to move this hair out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of in a tough situation because of the camera, but you get what I'm saying, right? Okay. I do need this. Uh, this all this space here can cause hair to wrap around it. I don't like that. I, I reckon I remember that now. Loosen that up. I'm going to bring that further down, tighten it. Don't forget your face mask. You can come down here too. You don't need to be all up in there. It just depends on the dog. Remember, I've never dremeled her nails before. She's thinking, what the heck is going on, Dee Dee? Now, you want that already at the vein. I wouldn't. There are groomers out there that have dremeled the whole nail. Um, that's their thing. I don't do that. I trim first because I know how to trim. You don't know how to trim. There is a slight power difference than the Dremel. There really is. Is that the highest it has? Oh. <laughs> that's six speed. Okay, Mr. Six Speed. Oh, yeah, this is better. Did you not read the box? No, I didn't read the box. <laughs> I need a little bit on that one, too. Okay, never mind. The power's pretty good here. I want to come back on the inside of that nail on the front, like right under the pad, you know, get all the dried up. Here, you don't need to get all up in there, but it just depends on the dog. Smells like nails. That's right. So, close your breath. You should have uh, mouth protection here. You can come around the front side with this now. Bump, bump, bump. Don't forget to do the bump, bump. She doesn't have any dew fog either. She don't, she don't want to be on there. She got off, right? You okay? Are you okay? This is new, isn't it? You're okay. licking her chomps. You're licking your chomps. Okay, let me lower this here. Don't lick your chomps, girl. You know I love you. go to the bath. Okay, one more thing before we go. I'm going to show you some of these moles here. All right, thanks for watching us use the nail grinder. I think that it's a great tool that will be uh, greatly impl implemented in your business. Uh, I think it's super affordable and you can pick it up at myfavoritegroomer.com under the nail section. Thank you so much. Okay, maybe I'll go back and talk about it, but okay, here we go. Coco. Coco. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Nice, man. I like. Yeah? Yeah, so like. So we talked about moles yesterday, right? So we have some here. This is the external mole. And we got a big one over here. 
Yvonne, this is why I wanted your, I think, I think I could really use that spinner table that you have. I couldn't bring it. It was too big for my luggage. Next time around, I'm going to bring some box, a big box to bring it back right here. I'm going to take my 40 and just come and open this up. Just the very top. You don't have to, but if you've got um, little issues like here, now I'm, here's my 10, and uh, you can see I'm going reverse. You don't want to bump it too much, but the hair does grow different because it's in the way, right? You can go a little tiny bit reverse right there. And just kind of expose it. Who cares, man? We all got blemishes. But that way, it can breathe. A lot of them, man. I can make them all. I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? There's a bunch. Right here. Right here. Now, some of these, you bump them, boom. If you bump it, it'll just bleed. And that's very common. Just clean it. Keep it clean. I'm going to come here. There's a little line there right there. Do you see that little line? Barely on your guys' end. I can see it from my angle. So I'm going to take my 7 reverse. And bring that in just a tad. Yeah. Yeah. Seven reverse is just a tiny bit clo uh, closer than the ten blades. So that's why you can hardly tell I just went seven reverse right there. See? You can barely tell, right? Nice. Nice and smooth. Okay. All right. Let's get to the bathtub. Let's work on our face together. All right, let's ask mom. Let me go check my text messages. I really, really, really want to do her anal gland. Hey there, Coco. All right, the answer was yes. Like, what are you doing with all this stuff? I'm like, yeah, I know, man. What am I doing with all this stuff? I didn't know it, but we were creating a YouTube studio this whole time. And one day we will have a studio. What are you doing looking at me like that? Coco, Coco, look here. Coco, why are you shivering now? All right, you guys, I'm going to have to do it. Oh, that's, I wanted to get that picture. It's okay, all right? You can hang in there. Okay, here. You're really going to freak out when I get this anal gland stuff out. This is really... Maybe I'll come over here from this angle, huh? This angle. Okay. Come over here so you guys can really see it. Then I've got to move this camera over here too. All
Get your cone hat at myfavoritegroomer.com. All right, get your lubricant. If you don't know how to do internal anal glands, please, 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 please make sure you get training, okay, first. Don't just go starting to do your own thing and you don't know what you're doing. Okay, girl. So sorry, okay? Okay, here we go. The last thing you want to do is put your glove on because the glove is that you need to keep that absolutely clean, okay? Obviously, it's going in to a private area here, so... All right, get yourself lubricant. I got a towel so I can maybe capture how much is in there. I can see this big round ball here when I was grooming her, sticking out. And I was like, okay, that's that's really, that's really sticking out at me. Some folks are like, hey, can you just tell me if her anal glands need to be done? And usually I can't say, um, David, do you mind grabbing the dog up, Sam? Usually you can't just look and see, but I know her butt, you know, I look at her butt all the time when she comes in for grooming. So the small dog up, Sam. All right, here we go. You can place it under her here. Okay. You see, she's sitting, right? This is going to help me. Oh, I needed a relude here. And David can get a zoom in if he wants to here. So we're going to go in. Make sure you got that lube up. You don't want it to stretch out. Oh, yeah, this is extremely full. Get this paper towel so I can kind of show you. It's very full. <laughs> it's covering. Co cover your mouth. Watch your eyeballs. So that came out of that. That came out of that anal gland. I'm going to go in. Oh, and this one's extremely full. Get closer if you can. Oh, yeah. Woo! Stick, too. Oh, did you see that, guys? Oh, I've got to hold it like a toothpaste. Do you see it pouring out? Look at all the rest that came out. And look how it's it's gone now. That ball is gone. There's still more here. The smell is horrendous, man. Okay. Ugh, okay. Woo, it smells horrible. Can you get up your way? <laughs> Good girl, Coco. We got it all out. Yeah. Good girl. I gotta wash my hands. See, I didn't get it on my hands though, so that's good. But Dave is out already left. He's out of here. Woo! Did you guys see all that? Did you guys capture it? Are you still on the dog up saying you're the best? Let me wash my hands and over here rinse this so you don't step in it, okay? You're the best demo dog ever. Okay, I gotta you gotta really wash your butt now. If you don't want to touch it, get yourself a hand towel and always have a bunch of hand towels. Get those hand towels involved, right? Are you feeling better? Well, did you see all that I got out of there? I bet you felt relief. <laughs> But you felt some relief, girl. Okay, get your hand towel out. I'm gonna wash my own hands here. Yeah, the dog up stands fine right there. He's helping me keep her stood up. Those are like $150 average to fix. I mean, so you got to sew it up. And it's the worst place you can have a cut. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because she's going to use the bathroom every 
day, right? Two, two, three times a day, maybe. I'll just leave it on there. Come in here and really feel that dunk in her eyeball here. Go ahead and get your flea comb out. Look at all that. Look at all that. Okay. Get in there. Feel in there. some eye wash here okay that cherry eye is bothering her and then we're gonna come we're gonna use the tearless shampoo on her head so you're gonna do the tearless shampoo here hold on let me see something all right so we went ahead and rinsed her whole body off with water I've got I'm using the dog up stand and I've got the tearless pet silk tearless shampoo and I'm just going to use this around her face. Just a, about a quarter size. Okay. Rub it around. I don't put too much. I put it, I'm getting it all over my hand so I can work it in there. But the more you put, the longer you have to rinse here. But you do want it to get in the, you know what I'm saying? You do want it on the hair. You just don't want the whole quarter size on there. So dilute it down with a little bit of water in your hands here and get that on there. I'm going to put some, just get some. So just on the edge, on the interior, just on the edge there. Now we're going to do our uh, Pet Silk shampoo. You're not going to have to see a lot of soapiness, and that's okay. Okay, I think we can, well, I'll just finish the rest of our body. So that's about, you know, with the dilution of the water on our body, you're going to be able to do about two quarter pieces, you know, two quarter pump. Okay, now we can move this and get under the tummy here, under the armpit and stuff like that, which is going to be also the main area you need to rinse really well. Rinse from the top down. You can rinse a little bit or you can go ahead and apply your conditioner. This is how I do it. You don't have to. I think when you use the conditioner on the body as well, plus the cologne, you're going to have that scent stay around as long as, as possible, which is sometimes two weeks in our house. Oh, yeah. Okay. Top to bottom. That way you're not going back and forth, up and down, up and down, top to bottom. Don't be afraid to rinse the eyes. You don't want the eyes to have any soap in them. You want to keep the ears facing down. You want to try not to get soap in, soap or water, excuse me. You don't want to get water in the ear. It'll cause an ear infection. Okay, top to bottom, top to bottom. On bigger dogs, I like to rinse the head last because then they usually shake their ears and get it all over me. So I usually do their head last. Do the armpits really good here. Great demo dog. Not all dogs are going to stand this still. They're jumping around, splashing, jumping, lunging, all that stuff. Make sure all the soap residue is off here. Thank you. 
All right, good to go. So that's using Pet Silk shampoo, Pet Silk conditioner, and we are going to top off after the haircut's done with Pet Silk uh, cologne. We sell them in kits. If you have more than one dog at home, get the gallons. That'll save you money. If you're a groomer, get the gallons because that's going to save you money big time. But we also sell the uh, gallons in cologne. If you're a groomer, get that. But if you're not, then you can definitely do the 16 ounce on the shampoos, which is this size here. And don't forget on her head, we did use the tearless puppy shampoo. Okay. All right, here we go. You ready to towel dry? Guys haven't noticed all my favorite sprayer bottles these bottles are my favorite i mean you can spray this is a parvo cleaner so i'm not going to spray but spray it right now label all your bottles right label all your bottles but i have this everywhere now my house my car um whether it's cologne parvo cleaner 256 cleaner clorox bleach um diluted that is cologne Leave-in conditioner. I have my favorite spray bottle. Make sure you pick it up. Uh, it's my it's favorite. It's I'll show you on the leave-in conditioner. It sprays amazing. And it's very friendly to your hand. But I have them everywhere. They're all over the place. I was like, finally, I said, I've got to label all these bottles, man. <laughs> label the bottle. Towel dry. The more you towel dry, the better off you're going to be. You're, the more time you're going to save on the blow dry, okay? more The better you towel dry, the more you're going to save time on the blow dry. And the blow dry to me is more stressful, okay? So if you have an older pet, if you have running your own salon, then just say, hey, look, you know, your dog's over 5 or over 8 or over 10 or 15 or 18 or whatever. I'd rather just air dry, just air dry. Senior pet care should be, ta be taken completely different, just like senior human health care should be just a little bit different. Okay. Woo! We got to get done, girl. Okay, get your goggles on or whatever. Make sure you pick up some goggles. They're pretty cheap on our website. Mute, mute the um, camera if you don't want to hear it. Here we go. It's going to be loud, real loud. Thank <laughs> you. 
get the right dryer, you'll be done in no time. We sell the dryers on our website as well. My favorite is the double K. All right, now we're going back. Bear with me as I move everything back. You get everything moved out of here, girl. All right, you guys. This should be quick rough out. Come check over some stuff here. Now that it's nice and clean, put the tin blade. Got the tin blade on there. Stretch out that arm for real good.
Nice. Okay, let's get your shaper brush. Get your 8.5 shear. I don't know what dog constipation looks like, honestly. <laughs> uh, if I was constipated, I don't know that you guys would be able to see it through me, <laughs> the outside of my body. I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't know. I wouldn't say that. I don't know if she's constipated. <laughs> I, I, you would not be able to tell that I'm constipated. Shoot, sometimes I don't even know if I'm constipated. Like, what the? It's like I glanced at the screen. That's the first thing I saw. Was con she looks constipated. How can you define the look of constipation? We should ask her, are you constipated? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. You tell me if you're constipated. I got some really cool stuff happening. I am building these... Um, emergency first aid kit. I'll have uh, everything pretty soon in the mail. And when the kits are built, they'll be under the kit section and the health section. And I've put together stuff that I feel like I have used over the years that every groomer should have on hand when it comes to uh, if you end up nicking a dog or hurting a dog or cutting a dog or the dog uh, gets his toe stuck in a kennel or a crate, which has happened in even a veterinarian office, you know, things, little things like that, that I've learned, man, if I had just this, this couple things, I didn't know I needed them. And I got lucky because, you know, when you go to shows, they give you some samples and I've, I've ha been pretty lucky. I was like, oh, that's what I needed to use it for. I had this one bandage thing for like three years and it came, I had to use it, uh, three or four three years ago i had to use it and i was like man that's why i held on to that thing and it made me realize just how important some of these things are you don't think you need to have them but it's it's a really good position to have them you know what i'm saying like not a position but you know what i mean you're like i'm glad i have that who knew i thought who knew i needed that i didn't know i needed that but I do know you need some things. It's just that one day, that one bad day that you have, that, you, that you're that you going to be like, I'm so glad I bought that kit. So be on the lookout. That's um, something I haven't been able to find anywhere. And I think it'll be really useful to so many people that are doing some work on their animals. Do you have a Oh, yeah. You can give her a job application, David. It's in the file right there. It's labeled. Okay. So it's very back. It's in the very back area. Where are you working now? I uh, was working at the groom shop in Irving, but she shut her shop down for a while. So Just recently? Yeah. I've been working for the past year. Okay. How is she? Is she okay? Yeah, she's okay. She shut her shop down. Who shuts her shop down? She Is it health reason or? No, she just don't want to work. What? And her groomer quit, so. Well, will you do me a favor? Tell her as a groomer to groomer, if she's a groomer or groomer to owner, owner to owner, just say if she wants to share the business referrals with me, I will give her 3% for a year. Oh, really? I'll give her that kickback so she doesn't have like i don't know where to send you kind of attitude well, it's all way in Irving. it don't matter right we get done in an hour so that's how she would sell she would push it that way just say hey look right. i've got a groomer that will give me three percent to yeah. refer you to her right. so it helps her stay alive because what's yeah. she going to do now right um at least it's, it's just an option I, I would do that for other groomers so already um just let her know you know what i'm saying oh, just okay. let her know because that's her income and if she's got to shut down who knows if she's still renting the building and she's under a lease yeah, I mean, because I mean, and it's it's like the only little shop right there in that little area. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I mean, 
she lost a lot. I mean, we do thirty dollars, thirty bucks. I mean, thirty dollars a day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean right. She, lost, she just closed it her, down because her, her groomer. groomer. But her groomer also took a lot of our regulars with, with her. And so she went. She went to PetSmart. So she took. So she um, pulled all the. So that's what we fear, you guys. But just have her call me, and it, even if it's just like we work something out, so she stays open. You okay. know, I'm busy here. I'm not trying to get her business, but when right. you said she shut down, I feel for her. Right. I feel I would not want to shut down. That was that's what she told me. You know, she said she's she said until I get another rumor, I'm just gonna shut it down. Right. Bit. I wouldn't shut it down. Yeah, for sure. I, mean, I would just say keep it open, have the business coming in, refer out to the groomer and just say, Hey, look, the, I'll make a deal. You know what I'm saying? Like you do you gotta work business. Yeah, you gotta do something. And even if you stayed I open told, just hey, for bath dogs. That's okay. What that's what I told her. I said, I said, well, why don't we just keep it open? Because I've only met her once. Right. I worked under her groomer, you know. But so she doesn't, she didn't, the owner doesn't come out there every day. She won't. Right. No, she don't want to do anything. That's, right. That's the whole point. But Have her call me. Yeah. All just right. make that offer for her and just say, hey, look, this groomer said this and that. I I think that you just don't want to do that in business unless you want to just get out of it, you know. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, fill out the application. If you can give us a resume, you'll be one ahead of your peers. Okay. And then uh, get back to me ASAP. And make sure we give it her phone number because I'll bring her in for a training day. Get her name and phone number, and then what are you doing right now? Um, nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, you want to just clean, start cleaning? Sure. You want to just stay here and start cleaning? I'll, I'll just pull you and pull you in right now. Follow me. Do it. Go ahead. Go ahead, David. It's just a quick training. I want to see how you work. If you stay busy, are you on your phone? Are, I'm looking at all these things. All right. And then when the next dog comes in, I may or may not have you bathe it, but that the dog after that, I'll have you bathe it. And I want to see how you bathe without me giving any instruction. Right on. And then just see how you do. Okay. Okay, great. Let's show her around, make, give, her, oh. give her a, and we're on live YouTube, so just watch what you say. Um, all right, you guys, here we go. Did you just see how that works out? <laughs> So those of you haters, man, uh, I can hear it now. She's all about money. No, it's not about money. It's about having a successful business. But if you can help other people along the way, I promise you God's going to be so happy with you when you go to the, ch the chopping board, when you get up there. When he's judging you and looking at you and saying, well, what did you do? Man, he's going to be really happy. I want him to be real happy with me. I tried really hard down here. Have her help you do all that. Just put her to work. Did you show her where she could put her stuff, not get hairy under the drawers and stuff over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. okay. One year. One year. She's doing 30 dogs a day. Remember that one guy that came out? Remember him? And how many dogs he said he was doing? 25 dogs a day? Boy. <laughs> okay. She sounds like who I need. So let's just see what happens. She'd be the only bather, she said, 16 dogs a day. Minimum. Why would you shut that salon down, you guys? That means you're really desperate. That owner didn't even want to go. The owner was an owner. The owner was not a groomer. I'm just going to brush this down to make sure there's no flurries sticking around. Were you checking the towels there? Uh, no, I'm checking uh, where the trash is at. <laughs> oh, right here under me or in the bathroom. Okay. Uh, he didn't show me where the bathroom is. Right here, right here. Um, go straight back over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I just was going to get this hair that's on this counter in here. Uh, what are you looking for? Just uh, go, just dig around. Just open okay. everything up, look around. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, introduce yourself because I'm just throwing you, throwing you in the tub here. Oh, yeah, that's it. You're going to throw that away, girl? <laughs> We're keeping that for evidence. Okay. Whoop. I'm gonna drop that stuff on your table. I'll tell you that much. 
My next client is a parent assist aggressive dog, so that's why I said, I don't know if she got to help me with that, but you never know. Aren't these my, these are my favorite, man. I had to take them off the floor and I had to use them for myself. And if I get some more, we sold out already. That's how fast they went. So if I, keep an eye, you got to keep an eye on the scissor section. If I get some more, it'll be the, in May, I think. I'm going to try to get some more. Uh, it has a My Favorite Groomer on there. Pretty cool. All right, girl, we need to get you done and get you in the picture mode, okay? Let's brush your tail. Okay, so we've got our leave-in conditioner. We're going to do a little bit spray here, a little bit on the head and the body. All right, what are you guys talking about out there? You aren't about money. Look at him. <laughs> Didi could use another arm or two. Yes, I could. You are a great groomer. Didi was that, that was amazing. Which part was amazing? Amazing putting her to work on the spot. Yeah, I'm trying to do that. Everyone doesn't jump on it. Um, very kind. Thank you, Geeky. Good to see you, Geeky. She's so pretty now, right? Shave downs can be pretty, man. <laughs> Especially here. Don't you want to shave a dog down in Texas? Freaking hot, isn't it? Oh, yeah. For sure. Do you guys do shave downs? Oh, yeah. Okay. Y'all don't know. Y'all they, they come in too, too matted. matted up, which a lot of them did. Y'all don't Get know. Tex you don't know, man. I'm telling you. You just don't know. But some like, you don't. shave everything down. Yeah, I would shave everything down. You come on a lot down of them here. didn't want to be shaved. They save as much hair as you can. <laughs> they always say that with the matted ones, don't they? Yeah. Why always. do they do that? They don't know. We just That's tell nice. them, well, you know, we just give them, um, you know, tell them what kind of conditioner to use mm -hmm. and tell them, you know, you have to brush your dog or it's going to be checked. Right. There you go. You guys hear that. You got to brush your dog. Are you going to have a naked one? You only had one groomer though doing 30 dogs or what? Yeah. Well, 30, 30, definitely on, on Saturdays. My, but one groomer. One groomer, one bather. So right there, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. Don't you guys know? 30 dogs a day on one groomer? She No, I'd be out of there, too. You need more groomers, you know? That's too much oh, yeah. work. For, that's too, isn't it, was, it too much work for you? It's not as big as a spot. Oh, yeah. I mean, on... You were abused. <laughs> on normal days, we do. Okay, I'm going to have you go out room. there and help out there. I need to, this space right now. I'm about to move up some stuff. Okay. All right, you guys. We're getting ready to go to um, photo. You guys can watch me do some photos here. We're going to get... Get some photos of her here. Don't touch the green, um, the green screen. I want to keep that as hairless as possible. Girl, you looking so sharp. Come on, let's go do this. All right. What's going on, David? Not every dog is going to be have the ability to do the photo shoot, okay? But I'll let you guys witness our little photo shoot, right? Okay. This one will work just fine here. I hope this works. Okay. Get this. I got. I, I, we got it all ready for you here. <laughs> you guys want a chicken? You can get those on our website as well. Okay, let's do one one dog up mini first. How about that? Saying something funny. No. They're saying something funny. I want to know about it. The chicken. They're laughing at the chicken. That thing's all tiny. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Coco. 
<laughs> Very good. You gotta show them how it works, girl. Okay, right here. Very good girl. Good girl. Okay, let me see here. Let me get this one in here. <laughs> Look at your so sweet smile. Yeah. I'm gonna have you stand up ready. Huh? This one's gonna put the strap on, okay? Do you have any like tips for this? I mean, I didn't, I mean, it's going to be too hard, so. Right. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're such a good girl. Yes, you are. Okay, great. This is a great. Yeah. Okay, you can walk by real fast. Let's try this big one here, the Mini Plus. Doing pre-orders on the Mini Plus, you guys. Their pre-orders are on the website, and the website has changed a little bit. What? This is freaking hilarious, man. It's almost too big for you. Right here. Okay, hold on. See, for her, it's just too big, right? <laughs> is that too big for you? I'd say so. How about down flat? Yeah, that works there. Can you do tippy toe there? Yep. I like that. Okay. That's not really meant for you, is it? No. All right, girl, we're done. Yes. I see a few things we're gonna fix though. Can you charge switch out the charge battery on this? Because that uh, parent assist aggressive is coming in next. I don't think I'm gonna, that's not gonna be live. I know that. Okay, let me see if I can do this. All right, make sure you check out the website. We got some specials today. Definitely check out the clippers. Hint, hint. If you want a pair of clippers, check out the clippers. This is a good time to do that. We're going to get our Pet Silk Rainforest clone. We're going to do a spritz here. Cell phone. Get your chicken. You stand up for me. No. Okay, let's do this real fast. Can you stand up for me? Here we go. Can you stand up for me? Can you stand up for me? Okay, we'll just get this dog up in it. Here we go. Up, 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 up. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, Coco, come on, let's go. Right back, y'all. Yes. No, absolutely okay. not. All right, hold on, you guys. I'll be right back.
Okay. All right. Here you guys go. Sorry about that. Um, I needed a, I was going to send her home because I need her, you know, have stuff to do. I was going to keep, but she's going to stay. We're going to keep, we're going to keep her here. Stay. I need to, here, I just want to talk to her. Okay. Hold on, you guys. Let me kind of wrap it up. Get ready. We're going to say goodbye here. You know those, um, you know those dentist things? Let me see. I got this light so I can make it better when I'm standing in front of you. So let's see if this works out better. Is that better? Yeah, that's better, man. It's always dark on the side of the face and all that stuff, right? So, uh, you know those dentist things that are on the wall? I need one of those for my camera, and I need one of those for these lights <laughs> up on the ceiling. All right, so some of you guys, what are you guys doing out there? Um, thanks for hanging out, bearing with us. Thanks for watching. the. How did the photo shoot look How, on your guys' end? Looks silly, right? Well, we take the photos because we need them and uh, for our websites and stuff like that, but also because we used them. We used them. We used all those products on her. The only one I'm missing is the tub picture. We need to get a good tub picture. So I really appreciate you guys watching, hanging out today. Thanks for all the, the chit chatting. Uh, 97 likes, 66 watchers. So thank you for the likes. Thanks for all the donations, Geeky. Thank you so much for your donation. Appreciate you. Uh, we are putting the bather to work. Um, she right now has no job and, um, yeah, she, he's going to help her, you know, we're going to put her to work. So that's uh, give her something to do today. Uh, probably give her a little something, something at the end of her shift. And, you know, I don't take advantage. Don't take advantage of people. Okay. You guys out there don't take advantage of people, uh, value their time. Like I value yours and I value my own time. I have learned to say no. And I have learned to say book a coaching. I have learned to ask you to value my time. And it's really hard to do. We want to give, 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 give. And then you realize you don't have enough time in the day. Uh, if you're not making an income to pay all your bills, you're not, you know, you value someone's time, not mine necessarily, but value people's time with, whether it's the person at the gym that helps you working out, um, the guy who buys you lunch every day, someone who drops off, whatever it is. Okay. Just value their time. And she walked in. I know she doesn't have a job. I know she doesn't have money coming in. I'm going to give her something today for helping. So value people's time, not, if, not maybe for yourself, you know, but for them and for what's to come. And I think that if you uh, do that and you're good, if you're a good person, good human, if you're a good human, it will come back twofold. And if you don't feel like it's happening now, just just wait. It will. It will come back. Okay. It will come back around. All right, you guys. Uh, today was that's a long freaking groom, you guys. I don't groom that long, but we did a lot of things. I did the demo on the Dremel. Excuse me. I, I got to take that back. We did the demo on the Andis cordless nail grinder. Okay. And we um, did, I did videos. I actually did a video on my phone, video on another camera and video live with you guys so that I can use them on our social media. So if you're not on our social media, please go like it, share it and make sure you're following us. So follow on Instagram, dog up stand and my favorite groomer has two. And so does me and you gaming, by the way, that's David's, you know, and then uh, Facebook has, I believe me and you gaming, but it has uh, my favorite groomer and dog up stand. Go like those pages for me. And that way you can be a part of everything that we're doing. Cause sometimes one post is here and another post is not there. Okay. We have to just do so much. So social media is huge and we have to be a part of everything. Right. Um, so when you want to start a business, don't you think there's just, it's easy. It's not easy. easy okay. Thank you so much for watching, for contributing your thoughts. Your donations mean a lot to me. Your shopping. We've gotten so many orders in the last few days. We've changed our shipping because we have listened to you guys. We are taking a bite. We are taking a huge bite on the shipping. So we've offered free shipping if you hit a, a minimum order. And you'll just need to play with your order. Add a bunch of stuff and then see what the shipping is. And then minus a bunch of stuff and see where the shipping is. We couldn't do free just yet. But we are working on it. Um, the more we uh, are, we're not growing, okay? But we are um, paying bills off. We're, get, we're, you know, we have to take care of our bills first, and then we can offer more and offer more, right? And then as businesses grow, they have to order more in supplies. And when you order more, thousands of dollars more, okay, you're out of pocket more, okay? So if you're starting a business and you have a store, those are kind of things that happen. You go into debt first. And then you pay it off or you work really hard for a long time, save the money and don't go into debt at all. But the more you grow, the more you order, 
to minimize the cost of the order per item, you have to order more of it. So instead of ordering 10 clippers, you've got to order 60. Do you see what I mean? So get that in your head. It's, it, there's a lot more to it, a lot more behind the scene when you're running a business. So those of you guys who don't understand that, I hope that kind of opened that up for you. Why free shipping is just not, wasn't available for a long time. And now there is free shipping, but there's a minimum, a minimum that we can afford. And yeah. then um, just, just you know, be understanding and work with us. But make sure you check out myfavoritegroomer.com, dogupstand.com. If you have any questions, please email me at dd underscore grooms at yahoo.com. If there's any tools that you need today, like the eye wash, the shampoo, the conditioner, the kit, the shampoo conditioner trio kit with the cologne, the nail grinder is on there now. It's on the website. David put it up there right while we were talking about it. Get one of these. They're, they're incoming. We should have them in the next two to three weeks. No promises. They all come from Andis. So Andis has their own run of products and we have to wait for them to make them. That goes with blades and clippers. So the clipper, hint, hint, go check them out right now. If you want an Andis 5-speed, this is the day to get them. All right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Mikio, thanks for always being uh, there. Thank you for our uh, deepest fans. Those of you who are members who are not members, whoever you are, I know you love us and we love you back. You don't have to be a member, but those of you who are members, we really appreciate that. That helps YouTube and it helps Dee Dee and David and uh, what we do in My Favorite Groomer. Love you, Callie. Love you guys. And don't forget, we're getting ready to go back to California in uh, May, uh, the last week of May, Monday and Tuesday, I believe we are booking for that. So if you are in California near Los Angeles and you want to get on with My Favorite Groomer at Yvonne's Place at Pamper Pet, Pam Pepper Pets, please give us a call at 817-676-1585 and get your booking. Make sure you have your vaccinations ready to go. I think all groomers should require DHPP, Bordetella, and rabies. That's what we require to get you in for a good uh, booking. And uh, that's it. Okay, we'll see you later. Love you guys. Must be Michelle P. Bye. Renee Fisher. Mikio, we just love you guys. Angela Turk. Buffy, are you at work today? Thank you all for the donations. I appreciate you guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.